my son has autism and I, you know, I've been asking him, you know, and I started when he was in high school, are you ready to drive? And he tells me, not yet. And I don't have a problem with it because with autism, those, he, sometimes he's anxious, you know, and, um, noise they have super hypersensitivity hypersensitive to noise and things like that so one thing i try to instill in my kids all of them i have three two well all of them are grown but i try to instill in them that you don't have to be like anybody else you don't have to travel the same road as anybody else you can make a do detour and start your own road you don't have to be like everybody else just because somebody else do it it's the trend on me you have to do it and that's the mindset that i have you know, if it's something I like, I'm going to do it, but I'm not persuaded, persuaded by what somebody else do, do, does. But, and I think about it, I said, Lord, if he would be driving, and if he would get pulled over for speeding or driving too slow or something, how would his altercation is if he was stopped by the police? If they gave a command and he was just nervous and made the wrong move or something. It's hard. It is so hard. And you know what? People say sometimes people say you worry too much. I have faith. I have faith but I'm, I, I'm a realist too. I see things for what they are. And times have got to change. We can't continue to do things the way we've done them. Because if all you do is what you've done, all you get is what you got. And right now, it's a mess. It's a mess. And, and I'm just, I, you know, where and how will it end? How does it end? And, you know, people... <sighs> some, you know, you'll see like... With the situation with Michael Vick and those dogs. Oh, those people were cutting up. But you feel nothing when a man has a knee in the back of his neck and he's saying, I can't breathe? What would, what would happen in that same situation? You heard the same statement. And the person was somebody in your house. If a person say that they how they can't breathe, you're gonna make it. You're gonna do something quick to try to save them. Dial nine one one or come to their attention or something. But this man did nothing. Nothing. And I was talking to my daughter the other day, and I didn't know that uh, George Floyd was from Houston. She said that um, one of her friends. And funny how she met the lady. The lady was a caretaker in the hospital after she had my grandson. They became the best of friends. And they, George, she and George Floyd went to school together. You know, I, sorry, y'all. That's that's why I didn't do this video because. Every time I see that, it's like one of my family members. And I just, it, it just. You know, for anybody that's saying, oh, whatever, what if that was your child? Somebody you love. And that happened to them. 2020. I, I, I think back to when I saw uh, Dr. King and them marching in the 60s. Here we are. The 21st century still going through the same thing. The same thing. Who? I, all I can say is this. God is in control and everybody is going to be judged. Everybody. And you know what one of my friends said, and I shared it in one of my videos. I don't get a minute, lot of views, but this is what he said. He said, some people don't worry about no heaven or hell because they think they got heaven here on earth. 
and I thought about that. And every time something happens, I think about what he said because it's so true. You gonna live eternity somewhere. And if it's hate in your heart, it ain't God. It's not. And sometimes people do stuff and I wonder how in the world can they lay their head on the pillow at night? And I remember my mom used to say this, the unjust don't thrive. And you know what? The thing that happens is people do things and they get away with it. And every time they get away with it, they get a little bit more careless with what they do. And so then what happens is, what happens is anything you allow escalates. So it gets to the point it gets so bad. And so if there is no response, silence is acceptance. And they're going to continue and continue and continue. And it's, it's man, I, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. This lady I used to work with had a saying, it's the same song, different word, verse. Ain't got no better, it can't get no worse. You know, and I, I think about that every time you see some in, in a paper, you see somebody death. That's somebody's child. Whether the mama is, is alive or deceased, God got enough of that person to bring him into the world. And if anybody could sit there and watch that video and don't be angry about it, you part of the problem. Yes, I said it. You're part of the problem because look, change begins with that man or woman in the mirror. If you can honestly look at yourself in the mirror and see that video and don't think anything was wrong with it, you part of the problem. So, I ain't gonna stay on here. I didn't want to talk about it. I, I, I couldn't at first. I, I just been so upset. It's, it's, it's a lot of things going on, but... A change is gonna come. It is. It is. But to see that guy, and then when he called out for his mama, you know that's a pain, an indescribable pain. I don't know. I just, I'm praying for better days. Lord, heal our land. Creating all of us a clean heart, give us a new spirit, spirit of love. Forgiveness, compassion, because we need it. We need you, Lord. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Be blessed. Bye.